Welcome to another episode of Eric Waite Whiskey Studies, and in this video, I'm gonna do a review of the Jura 18-year-old single malt Scotch whiskey. So this video is part of a three-part series that I'm doing on Jura Distillery. In the previous videos, I reviewed the uh, Journey and the 12-year-old and provide a historical background on Jura Distillery as well as uh, their production. In this video, I'm just gonna do a review of the whiskey and answer the question, is this uh, the best whiskey in the core range, at least, from Jura Distillery? But before I do that, here's a little bit about this whiskey. The Jura 18-year-old single malt Scotch whiskey aged 18 years in bourbon casks, then finished in Premier Grand Cru Class A Bordeaux Red Wine Barriques. It's bottled at 44% alcohol by volume and sells for anywhere between $80 and $140 in the United States. So this was finished in a Bordeaux cask. Bordeaux, we're talking about uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Petit Fidou, uh, Malbec, Carmenere. Those are the main grapes that go into uh, Bordeaux, a little Malbec maybe, but the dominant grapes are going to be Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, uh, a little bit more Merlot in the cooler year, Cabernet Sauvignon in a warmer year. Is it going to make that much big of a difference? No. Whether it was finished in a Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon cask or a Bordeaux cask, basically you're going to get some red fruit notes. And I definitely get that. A little bit of fresh fruit, a little bit of dried fruit in terms of red fruit notes, a little bit of chocolate, some vanilla, the um, base spirit of that uh, orange Jura spirit is definitely coming through underneath all that. So it has that in common with the uh, 12 year old as well as the journey. A little bit of honey. Some nice spice notes going on in the background. Just a hint of cinnamon and some baking spices on the pot. This is really, really, really nice. It's sweet up front, dries just a little bit towards the mid and to the back end. Chocolate covered cherries, vanilla, cinnamon, baking spices. It's got real nice layers to it, real nice development. Starting off sweet in the front, drying just a little bit towards the back. Get the red fruit notes, definitely coming from the uh, wine cask. Orange citrus, vanilla, caramel, baking spices. It's got a mini plus to long finish. It's got a real nice finish on it. Jura needs some age. Mm. I would like it to have a little bit more oomph, but what is there is really, really, really nice. I like the development, I like the depth of flavor, I like the layers of complexity. This is a very, very nice whiskey. Um, what would I give in terms of a score? I'm going to go a solid 88 points, solid 88 points. What would it take to get me over 90? Um, a little bit more punch, a little more emphasis. I would like it a little bit more louder and turn up the volume uh, on the intensity of the flavors. But what it has is really, really, really nice. If you can get this from 80 bucks or so, or maybe even a little bit less, I would say go ahead and buy yourself a bottle. Over $100, I think it's got a lot of stiff competition. I think there are a lot of great whiskeys out there uh, that have a little bit more going for it, but uh, I've seen this in my neighborhood, 80 to $90, and it's definitely worth uh, checking out. Definitely, I mean, hands down, absolutely no question, uh, this is the best of the Jura, uh, core range of their signature uh, series, and it's fairly widely available. So I, I would uh, recommend this one. All right, uh, that's it for this video. If you subscribe to this channel, I wanna thank you very much. If you've not yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would greatly appreciate it. If you would subscribe, ring the bell to be notified. And until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.